guys, just kicking it in the house. Here's some videos on steel pipe and uh, belly wraps or cinch strap, some, whatever you want to call them. They're actually from, um, I was making a week long ride along video that I decided not to do because it just got too long. But uh, since I don't haul steel that pipe that often, uh, this is a good chance for me to take these clips, put them together um, for a video on that. Uh, I say in the video, this is the most dangerous stuff you'll haul on a flatbed, and I mean it. Been in this game over 30 years, and pipe and stuff is just, steel pipe kills, it's, it's a killer. Everybody calls me about coils, and you gotta give coils their just due, but this stuff here, you don't wanna play around with, so. I'm gonna show you how to do it right. How you do it is up to you, but, uh, this is the stuff you don't want to play with. So enjoy this video. Y'all have a good weekend and God bless you. Bye now. Good morning guys from uh, Leedsdale, Pennsylvania. It's cold here. We'll get some pipe. Everybody's scared of coil. Screw that. Pipe's the most dangerous crap you'll ever haul. I'll show you quick how we set the deck up. Then I'll have to get ready to go. So hold up. All right. You gotta have pipe stakes. Chain them together, hooks up, okay? And each place is different. They want double stacked four by fours. Okay, I'm gonna have to spread my axles out after I load. Chain your stakes together. They want three double runners here. Some only want singles, whatever, they'll tell you. And then we're gonna show you how to secure them. And this is something you don't mess around with. We will be doing belly straps um, or uh, cinch straps, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to do it the correct way. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, before I do anything else, I do my belly wraps. Uh, and you need to tighten these first before your other straps uh, because these will squeeze the pipe together. If you have your other straps tight before these, that inhibits that from doing so. I alternate sides on my belly wraps. It's the way you should do it. It's easy. You go up, over, come back through, and over again. And you can see they're offset a little from each other, right? So there's one belly wrap. Here's the second one. Now I don't have any winches on this side of my trailer. So this is where my... Uh, Big ratchet binders come in. All right, get a ladder, make it easier. And I tuck my excess strap up under there, okay? So that way, one belly wrap's pulling one way, one's pulling the other. Uh, a lot of guys will do them both on one side. I don't like that, because it'll actually start to pull the pipe to one side of the trailer, okay? And if it was uh, not banded, I would put another belly wrap in the middle. All right, now we'll throw the straps on with some rubber things on them, and I'll show you that when I'm done. See you in a minute. All right, guys. Show you how I got this done. Now, look, I really can't overemphasize this enough. Everybody's scared of coils and that, and I, yeah, that's fine. But I'm telling you, this is the most dangerous crap you'll ever haul. Steel pipe. This kills more flat betters than anything so if there's ever a time to slow down and do it right this is the time now, I got 10 straps on here um, but if you want to put 14 I don't care there's no such thing as too many so let's look at it and on about half of them I have those rubber strap well they're protectors but on this it grabs this pipe the strap will slide easy on the pipe that is like a traction mat it, it's just extra to keep this from coming forward so i'm doing that on oh, every other one or so i don't know i got them at least five of them i think so we got eight straps and two belly wraps and hey, that runs okay belly wrap like i said tighten those first then when you tighten everything else down go back and check them and when you do your this is where you're going to stop 50 miles. You're going to check this a lot along the way. Your life depends on this. 
But when you do stop, tighten your belly wraps first, then your other stuff. All right, strap protector. All right, belly wrap, pulling this way. Like I said, I pull one one way and one the other way. In my opinion, that is the correct way to do it. All right. And that's pretty much what it looks like. I'll show you the other side. Don't look no different, but we're ready to go. Get on out of here. I actually got to go back to camp. We had a little issue last night. Not really on my way home, but it is what it is. The coolant lines on the APU. I don't know if he didn't tighten them up or what, but I don't think it's the ones on the top. Is, uh, there's a T in there to monitor the uh, engine coolant to keep it a certain temperature in the winter. Uh, but anyways, it's down there. You can see the other hose clamp. I think that's where it sprayed out, but it sprayed coolant everywhere. And of course, Mr. OCD, I was out here with water bottles trying to wash it off. But uh, I was just going to fix it when I got home, but the wife said, no, you're not paid six grand for all that crap we're gonna go back and uh ryan will do it. it wasn't his fault he's got a new guy working for him and anyway we're not gonna go into that things happen all right let's go trucking all right guys hey stopped by ryan's got it fixed it turned out to be uh one of the lines going back to the apu the a young guy had not zip tied it really well and it had kinked over causing excess pressure in the other line to spray all the coolant out so ryan found it rather quickly and we were in and out in about 30 minutes and uh, we're down here i think this is springfield ohio took a quick shower uh and we're gonna get fuel and motor on i'll make it to mount vernon tonight so hey i wanted to mention I'll break this into a couple videos. You guys doing the week ride along will see this, but I'll also do a steel pipe video because uh, I don't haul this stuff that often and I can't overemphasize that this is the most dangerous stuff you'll haul on a flatbed by far. So the whole 50 mile check, your first check, Bob, no, uh-uh. Uh, I didn't make it 15 miles and all my straps were loose and I'm 290 pounds and I was hanging off the bar, but it will work its way together so you need to look in your mirror and as soon as you see those straps moving pull over okay if you can't tell the difference between tight straps and loose straps in the wind don't be hauling pipe until you can so uh, i've tightened this up about three times gone about 200 miles that's how many times it's come loose in 200 miles uh, I think it'll be good now. Maybe I have to tighten it up one more time, but it'll reach a certain point to where it's bunched together and that's it. It ain't going no more. But until then, your straps will come loose. So that's why it's important to do your belly wraps, tighten those first, then the other ones, and then go back and check your belly wraps. Check, 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 go back and forth, back and forth, because this stuff's gonna come loose a lot and uh, in the first couple hundred miles. And um, no joke about it, guys. This can kill you. So uh, do it right on this. This is uh, this is not stuff to play around with. All right, I'm going to try to pull forward here in Flip Flopville, get some fuel, and get rolling. We'll see you after a while. Bye now. <laughs> 